Roadkill Nights 2019. We got an interview with Mike Finnegan and Dave Freiberger with an exclusive look into future Roadkill episodes, the Richard Rawlings crash, and offbeat questions you don't want to miss. Obviously, where the street racing or uh, scientific testing of vehicles would happen around the Detroit area in the 60s, which is why they have Woodward Dream Cruise, which is why when we moved from the parking lot of the Silver Dome for the first roadkill nights, they said, What do we need to do that's bigger and better and faster and louder? We're like, You gotta race on Woodward. And that's what we're doing. As you can hear in the background, it's a killer. I think the city of Pontiac was the only place that was silly enough to allow us to. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty So whose idea was all this? Roadkill Knights? Or just racing on Woodward? It was basically my idea to put on Woodward. So here we are. But we have nothing to do with the Raging Indian. There's a whole events team that works for a full year to make this happen. Yeah. It is a lot of work. Yeah, we're not organizing. Yeah. We're not organizing. <laughs> you can't even keep the heavy car. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It hurts. Uh, <laughs> next question. Just kidding. Three favorite car movies. Not say Vanishing Point, Two Lane Blacktop, or Smoking Pan. Okay, that's doable. Um, great, good 80s fun. Burnout, which is the best horse drag racing movie ever. Oh, yep, shot at OCIR circa 1977. Six pack of Penny Rogers. Yeah, that cemented my love of 80s NASCAR. Yep, yep. was I not allowed to say Dirty Mary Crazy Larry? Oh, you definitely did. Okay, Dirty Mary Crazy Larry. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. Um, Okay, if not that one, then uh, Cannonball Run. Personally. Yeah, pretty good. Crucial piece of clothing for surviving a road kill trip. Anyway. Flip flops. Even in the winter, right? Oh, yeah. He stood in snow. Like, like, he can attest. I don't know what episode it was, but we were we were in Idaho. I just broke in the window of the Ranchero, which meant we were going to freeze, and you were standing out there in the snow, and I'd say after 45 minutes, you finally put shoes on. Flip flops for you, uh, a hat to protect my dog from the sun when I need it on the wall. So, is it a good idea to make rubber bushings out of the road? That's a fantastic oh, idea. You done? Where'd you come up with that? That's in a, a, in a, in a pinch. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'd go with that. Sure. Sure. Short term solution. Yeah, skateboard wheel works too. Yeah. So, can you guys confirm a rumor that the, the Hell Rides at the event this year are just Richard Rawlings at regular speed? <laughs> Nope. I, uh, None of these are hitting the wall. What are you talking about, dude? Yeah. <laughs> it's in full control. The amazing thing is people don't realize he not only hit the wall out there on the drag strip, but he also hit the wall on the skid pad. But that wasn't on video. Oh, I didn't so know that. Oh, dude. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yep. He doubled up. How are the new movies go? New car movies? Is there anyone that you like as, as far as the Fast and Furious franchise or Hit and Run? I don't like any of the CG car action. It's fake. I like the 70s movies where they were actually driving the car. Oh, you don't like their car driving the little stumbles and lifts? Exactly. Yeah, fake. <laughs> yeah, but that was your car. Yeah. Well, it was knockoffs of my car. Yeah. Those cars that they knocked off for that movie were so bad. There was one of them that the quarter panels were so bad, they gave them in with oh, sledgehammers. Man. 
Pack well the new ones over the mud in the thing and set them down the road. Yeah. That's how they do with me cars. They just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> so they're worse than I guess. Yeah, don't even remove the old motor back. Go to like cave it in and put a new one over. It's kind of the opposite of window. Yeah, you heard it here first. There's a worse mechanic than me. <laughs> Not much worse. It's a saves Ooh. time. That's what they do in movie world. Saves time. Makes money. Alright, so what's your favorite car ride that does not improve drivability at all? Swangers. Hold up. Swangers. Swangers? Swangers. Swangers in Texas is taking a spinner, mounting it about a foot off the wheel on a rebar, <laughs> and they stick real far. You ever seen movie Grease? Yeah. The part where, yeah. the movie where they're drag racing in the reservoir and the dude's got the deals that come out and bend her spikes? Right. right. Hey, these are permanent bend her spikes on your crappy steel wheels that stick out about a foot on your Toyota Camry rolling through Houston. I like that. Swangers. <laughs> well, you've got two lane blacktop, you've got vanishing point. What does movie car throw kill one of them? Um, well, I've got the F bomb, which is like a fast cruise. I think you should buy one of the Monte Carlos that was in that same movie. Do you remember the Monte Carlos that were like NASCAR looking? They were tan primer with a gray top. In the beginning of the year, I just like it. Uh, the one you were wearing on the demolition derby? Is that what it is? Yeah, they were ripping through uh, an Oh, no, yeah, right. that's it. Yeah, that was yeah. in Tokyo Grand. Okay. Yeah, that was a bad so I, I could buy one of those if you brought my friends and sell the cars for them and you're a strange guy, so it's not the worst thing like Yeah, exactly. Oh, NASCAR was a sweet oh. piece of engineering. You shut your mouth. It was. It was. <laughs> I'm but kidding. I'm kidding. It was very ugly on the outside. No! It was on the inside. It's the best it was perfect. The short back end was You are okay. so wrong, Genius. man. Genius. You are so wrong. Yeah. You guys have an audio in your You're my new fans now. now. He's not even here. <laughs> I talked to the entire interview. I'm the favorite at the end. Winning is all that matters. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. What movie car would you want? Uh, not a movie car, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having the Major's truck for a fall guy. Dude, what happened to Jim Lee? Is that out of your system now? I got it out of my system. Really? Wow. Because wow. they're too nice. Yeah, eight years later, that monkey's yeah. off my back. Yeah, they're too nice. I, I have the world's worst charger now. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, at least you can take that thing in the dirt and have to feel bad about it. Hey. Yeah. Fall Guy was an awesome 80s TV show about a stuntman who was also a bounty hunter, and he had this lifted long bed Chevy Freeway or square body truck that he would jump the freeway with. Yeah. And it had like 12 shocks. It was amazing. You know, we have one at Wilson's place. We call it the Fail Guy. Okay. 